Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. And today we're looking at James uh, 14 through 26. And in this passage, James is talking about how faith without works is dead. And I really encourage you guys to read this whole passage uh, and to dive into it for yourself. But today I'm going to be focusing uh, on verses 18 and 19. And so it says, but some will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. See, James is talking here about how uh, a life-changing <clears throat> relationship with Jesus will result in evidence of that faith by how we live out our life. Uh, a true life-changing relationship with Jesus, believing that he is the Son of God, the Savior of the world, that he lived a perfect and sinless life. He died on the cross to pay for your sins. He was buried rose three days later and you have submitted your life to following him will result in your life being changed and there will be evidence of that change in your life. See, he talks about and gives a warning that even demons believe in Jesus. See, they were angels in heaven in perfection with God before they rebelled and were cast out of heaven. Demons were the first ones when Jesus walked this earth that recognized that he was the son of God, the Holy One, and they will not be spending eternity in heaven with Jesus, even though they know. See, an intellectual knowledge of Jesus is not what saves us. It is a life-changing relationship with Jesus that saves us. It is surrendering our lives completely to Christ. It is a heart change. See, Romans 10, 9 says that if, um, it says, uh, but if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Jesus says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and all your strength. See, it is our heart that we have to believe, not just in our minds and, and have an intellectual understanding of Jesus. It has to be our heart. And then when we believe in Jesus, there is evidence in our life. And those are the works that he's talking about. So some of those works could look like being loving to people, even those who are enemies, being patient with people, even when they're driving really slow, being kind to people, with our words on social media, people that, that believe different than you do. It's being generous. It's serving, not because of out of uh, obligation, but because we want to, and we want to use the gifts that God has given us. See, we aren't doing any of these works to try and earn salvation. That's not what he's talking about here. It's not trying to earn salvation. It's not trying to earn God's love because we can't. Jesus accomplished all of that on the cross. See, these works we do out of the outpouring of our heart because we want to express our love and gratitude for Jesus. And so I pray that your life shows um, your faith in Jesus, and there is evidence to those around you. Have a great day.